Good morning. I'm back again this morning, and it's my day off. I'm going to pause this video that I'm watching right now and just give some, uh, some of the sports stuff. As you all know, they just did the uh, NFL draft, and I, I was hoping I would get a chance to watch it, but never got a chance to do that because I couldn't find it. I couldn't even find it on TSN, the network that shows here. So sports over here in this country it's probably, was probably on ESPN and I could have uh, watched it on ESPN but I don't have ESPN but they did the draft and some I guess some players were chosen I don't know when the NFL draft is I don't know or whether they showed it or not I'll have to check out the website right now and uh, find out what, what the deal is with it and uh, let me see I don't know when it is okay I'm trying to find out when it is okay it hasn't occurred yet so it's nine days it comes occurs in nine days and a couple of uh, hours and that is counting down the day but you know what it is all about. The draft, you just, they take a lot of uh, college players who's come out of college football and they, they uh, throw in some sort of bets and they try, most of the teams try to, uh, they try to go on along with this uh, bet or lotto pick, like draft shake around the numbers like you know when you pick the numbers for the lottery you find out which numbers you win this is this NFL draft is similar to that they get I mean most teams want, to, want the first overall pick or the first person that they want but sometimes that always doesn't always happen and they have to pick a player that's that they don't recommend or they it's not a high caliber player in college but sometimes most teams they don't have that luck in picking brand players I mean look at what San Diego went through in drafting Ryan Leaf because they they made the assumption that Ryan Leaf was gonna have a stellar career and over Peyton Manning those two were in the same draft and then years later Peyton Manning still playing football. Wow. He wasn't the number one pick. Ryan Leaf was the number one pick. And um, nowadays, Peyton Manning is still playing ball. Ryan Leaf, uh, his career took a nosedive. He ended up getting in trouble with the law, and now he's serving time in prison. So it just goes to show you that um, picking number one drafts doesn't always uh, work. Now what else can I say about the NFL draft? Yeah, a lot of prospects, teams, they pick prospects. And sometimes with the teams that pick, uh, say, number nine, pick a number nine player, or players that ended up not number one, they end up having very successful careers. Aaron Rodgers was, he wasn't the number one draft, number one pick. He could have um, been a bust, but he has a, he has had a stellar career with the Green Bay Packers. And I don't think Adrian Peterson was picked first either. I think he was. I don't know what place he was, but he wasn't the number one pick. He and now he's still running up yards and playing very well in, with the Minnesota Vikings. So just goes to show you. Picking number one doesn't necessarily mean that this player that they've chosen will turn out to be very good. Hopefully I get to watch it, but that's unlikely. They never, uh, never show it on TSN, or maybe they do, or that, but I never pay attention to it. Hopefully the drafts this year 
NFL drafts turn out to be very good. But that is unlikely. Like most some teams, sometimes like a high caliber team will pick a bust. And the bust turns gets thrown away. Because I mean, they don't do well and the team is they have to waste so much money on this uh, player that it turned out to be a bust. See, see the NFL draft in nine days. It's nine days away. Adios.